Good afternoon everybody, Aaron here and once again I'm here with a very educational video for you. Now, there's a few questions which have very frequently been asked not only um, to our, by email on our website but also that guests often ask us when we're on safari as well. So I figured I'd answer these questions for you in a video. Now the first question I wanted to answer was how often does a leopard have to drink water? It's a very good question and to be honest the answer would actually vary depending on exactly where you're talking about. But in general, a leopard is an animal which definitely prefers to drink water quite frequently, once or twice a day, uh, assuming that the water is freely available. But because of a leopard's metabolism, it's able to go quite comfortably for three, four days, and in some cases longer, uh, quite comfortably without having to drink water. And the reason for this is because of its metabolism. Now, in the proteins and the fats that are in the food that it eats, such as the axis deer, for example, they are very high energy containing substances where the oxidization of these energy containing substances produces enough metabolic water inside the organism, inside the body of the animal, uh, to survive on quite comfortably. So that's the answer I could give you for, for that question. So ideally a leopard would drink every day, but it can, because of its metabolism, survive for quite a few days without having to drink water. And the other question that I wanted to answer for you today is why does Yala National Park seem to have the highest density of leopard in the world? And the reason for that is actually comes down to the purpose as to why a leopard keeps a territory in the first place. Now, leopards keep a territory based mainly on availability of food. So it's about their prey abundance. Now, in Yala National Park, their main species of prey is axis deer, also known as spotted deer. Um, but they are very opportunistic hunters anyway. But these particular prey species are in Yala National Park of very high abundance. And therefore, leopards do not need to keep such a large territory in terms of being able to find food. Now, because of such a lack of competition, we've also been able to see various leopard territories actually overlapping with each other, which has been quite interesting to our research. But you don't really see this very much in other places, such as India, where they have competition like tigers, or you have leopards in Africa, uh, where they have competitions such as lions, hyenas, wild dogs, and various other predators. So in Yala National Park, they definitely have no need to have such a large territory based on the fact that food is, is very freely available. I hope these questions have been answered for you in a very understanding manner. And please stay tuned for more educational videos. And I look forward to hearing more of your questions. Thanks.